the, the aims of the anti-bullying program are fairly simple. There's a lot of very well established martial arts clubs and associations out there that will t train martial arts, so they'll teach them how to kick high, they'll teach them how to punch boards, they'll teach them how to do spinning back kicks, and they'll teach them how to do all these sort of things that are great for getting them fit and their athleticism and their confidence. But in reality, when they're on the school playground or walking home from school and they get set upon by three kids that are all two years older than them or multiple uh, kids that are looking to try and make their life as unpleasant as possible. Um, and we've all seen recent footage of some fairly horrendous examples of teenagers attacking one another. Unfortunately, kicking a board above your head and spinning back kicks and catters and all these sort of things just aren't the, aren't the answer to those problems, unfortunately. So just as the nature in which the way kids get bullied today has changed, I think the way in which they need to be trained to defend themselves from those problems needs to change as well. That's where our training is significantly different and hopefully significantly more effective in delivering results. They're going to give kids a toolbox to be able to look after themselves, sustain a minimal amount of injury and get... Uh, get home as safe as possible. For anyone who thinks it looks scrappy or untidy, um, that's because it is. This isn't a club where we're doing choreographed moves to, to make yourself look like James Bond or, or whatever. This is because we're training because this is how it is on the streets and, and it's reality. Um, so for me, it's, it's the perfect system.